Rage Nation, Kimber Schaefer here with Rage in the Cage Oklahoma News. And it is that time again. We have a two-night event coming up back in Oklahoma City. It's our Roll in the Cage 10 event. It is our Struggle Snuggle, followed by Rage in the Cage 97, which is our Valentine's Day bash. And this lady right here, Virginia Joyner with the big, beautiful smile, <laughs> is going to be um, participating in our Roll in the Cage event. Yes. And this is your first time, correct, being um, on a roll card? Or this no? will be my second time. The first one that I did was back in September 29th, whenever you had uh, Roll in the Cage 8. Um, I went against Elizabeth Alfaro, um, which she was really great. Uh, and we made a connection, so that was good. I look forward to um, being able to compete with her again, as well as being able to train with her, too. So hopefully I can gain that same connection with Morgan when I get to roll with her also. Oh, so wonderful. that would be good. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. the most special moment was at the beginning of the night before the um, video crew sh showed up and all of us girls were just chatting about life. And I love that um, there's such a connection with all the ladies that participate in the martial arts world yes. so in Oklahoma and you guys can compete against each other but then you can get down to business because mm -hmm. you're going to face somebody whether they're your friend or not if you're the same weight class belt level. Yes that's true. So um, I think that there's not a lot of women that actually train in jiu-jitsu to begin with um, so there's not very many that actually like to compete either um, so it's good to be able to go out there and make friendships with the ones that do like to just train and as well as the ones that like to go and actually compete too. You get to see um, um, different skill levels as well as like um, what people do outside of their daily job so that's pretty nice too yeah well and I can tell that you really are into this sport and you really are into promoting it and promoting yourself because you drove all the way from Lawton to be at pre fight oh, yes. interviews yes people that live yes. 10 minutes away from here didn't even show up. So. Yeah, that's true um, so. it was a good drive though it was good I enjoyed it yeah. oh good mm -hmm. Well, that's wonderful. So I'm so glad you're here and to get to know you. You have an infectious smile. Oh. I say that about certain people, but um, you do have an infectious smile. And I have to see your like game face now on fight night. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Um, yeah, it'll probably just be a lot of smiling. Uh, I get really nervous. I'm socially awkward, so even this is just kind of a big step out of the box. Um, I get really nervous beforehand, so I try not to underestimate anybody, but um, I like to just go and have a good time. So there will be more smiling uh, as well as probably tears, but that's all good because we train just to be able to do that. So that's the fun part. Yeah. So this is your on the roll in the cage card. Are you, is this a step stone to possibly doing full MMA at one point or a year is your love in jiu-jitsu? Yeah, I would really like to just stick with jiu-jitsu. Uh, I did Krav Maga for a while when I lived in El Paso, which was really nice, um, but I don't think that MMA itself is for me. I work at a hospital there in Lawton, so being able to go to work and not have my face kind of beat up would be very preferred, um, although yeah. I know sometimes it happens. I have had my nose broken before in a tournament, so um, yeah, as I can avoid that. That would be nice, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. Well, good. I am so excited to um, see you. And now that you I, you uh, told me you're on the September card, I can totally picture that bout and everything. So mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you are back with us for another Roll in the Cage. And um, anything else about you that I didn't mention that you, um, I don't even think I asked you what made you get into um, jiu-jitsu. Um, so originally when I had moved to El Paso for a couple of years, I lived by myself. I didn't have much family around, so it was kind of a scary situation living there by yourself, um, sometimes in not the greatest neighborhood. Uh, so being able to go to Krav Maga and learn how to defend myself, uh, my coach talked to me about a lot of things and helped me step out of my box and realize that just because I'm a little person doesn't mean that I can't like defend myself and sense when I need to. Um, so that's really great. And then when I moved back, there was no Krav Maga, but I have good friends that train in Jiu Jitsu. Um, so they invited me to come and try their gyms. And then I just kind of got hooked and fell in love with it since. So yeah, it's nice. So are you born in Lawton? Is that your Yes, hometown? born and raised in Lawton, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're an Okie girl. Yes. Just born in Texas for a little bit. Yes, that's true. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, now the big question, anything that I didn't already ask you that you want people out there to know about you? Um, I just really enjoy my job um, and I, as well as competing, I would like to compete as much as I can and uh, see where I go. Um, again, there's not a lot of women that compete even at high level um, jiu-jitsu, so that would be really great to be able to get sponsors and be able to compete more and see where I can take it, so that would be great. Wonderful. Thanks. Well, I'm so excited for that. 
And I hope you guys are excited for this Roll in the Cage card. Please come support these athletes so we can continue doing the Roll in the Cage cards um, year round. Um, we, we try to do like at least, you know, five, six Roll in the Cage cards um, last year. And so I think we're on par for doing about that many this year. So um, please come support these competitors on our Roll in the Cage card and follow that by a night of supporting the Rage in the Cage athletes. <laughs> On Rage in the Cage 97, you can get tickets for both events on stubware.com where some of the competitors have tickets in hand. You can go to stubware.com. Other, otherwise, we're just going to see you guys February 9th and or 10th at our two-night weekend, February 9th and 10th in Oklahoma City at the Farmer's Public Market. See you then.